Welcome to TB Collects, this is Tyler, and today I have part three of my comic book binding project. Um, this is my first bind, and this is the third part of the series. If you haven't checked out the first two, I'll put links in the description to check it out, where I go through the entire process of binding a 12-part uh, series for uh, comics. Uh, I had watched some videos. Uh, there's not very many on YouTube to show people how to do their own binding. Um, I had seen some videos from the hardcover comic. Um, I'll link their channel in the description as well, where they send out their uh, comics to be bound by a professional bindery. And that's really cool. And um, I kind of looked into that just to see, you know, how much the price was and that kind of stuff. And I think they do. The prices are, are pretty good. But really the thing that uh, kind of swayed me away from that is, is the lead time on them. Um, they've said that, you know, they send out batches of these books and and sometimes it could be six months, sometimes a year um, to get them back. So, you know, that kind of that didn't really appeal to me. Um, and I've always been somebody that wanted to try and do things myself and learn a new skill. So I, like I said, I just searched on YouTube, watched some videos. There's one really great um, channel, uh, Das Bookbinding. Um, he does more traditional bookbinding, um, but I learned a ton from him. And uh, more importantly, I learned how to fix this one because this is my first ever bind of any type, any book not just comic books. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the book and I'll kind of show you um, how it came out. So this is a cloth bound book. Um, there are many, many different types of fabrics that you can use um, to cover your books in. And this was something I just ordered off of Amazon. Honestly, I probably paid too much, but you know, I just, like I said, I, I'm just trying to figure this out. Um, so this is 12 issues um, and it's a really good size. I kind of like that. Um, you can see there um, where all the comics are in here. They're sewn in. Um, it's, it's, I'm pretty happy with the case. Uh, you can kind of see here where if you watch the videos, you, sign, you, you sew in some bands um, to help attach to this, this case board here to give it a lot of structural rigidity and to make sure that the books don't um, fall out or you know anything like that. Now, one major mistake that I made <laughs> is I, in my videos, I measured this front board and back board um, off of an existing graphic novel that I had, you know, hard hardcover, because I wanted it to sit on the shelf at the same height. Um, and that worked out, but the thing I didn't think of was I didn't measure this based off of the books I have. So if you can see, it's not much, but the, the comics do stick out a little too much. So one thing that I learned from this is I need to measure this off of my comics, not off of something else. Or one of the other things you can do is I put a little spacer because you need some space in between the spine board and the front board. You can push that out a little bit and make a wider spacer, which may be the way I go. I don't know. It's, again, that's more testing that I'll have to have to do with my next bind. Um, but learning, this has been a great learning experience. Um, it's way better than I thought it would be. Honestly, <laughs> didn't expect it to come out very well, and it did come out pretty good. Um, one other thing. So... As I said, the, the ends are too short. The book, you know, doesn't cover the ends. Everything else, you know, this lip that I have is pretty good. I, I'm fine with how much space I have on the top here. Um, but one thing else that I learned, I did what's called tipped on uh, end papers. So this white sheet here is actually probably too thick. That's something else I learned. It's probably too heavy of a sheet of paper. Um, it's actually pretty good on the end here um, for covering but you're supposed to tip it on which is putting a very thin amount of glue on the first and last pages and you can see there it's coming off it, it, it there could be a couple reasons for that one of the things that I learned is usually what people will do when they tip on pages is they'll take the first section and tip on to the second book 
and then do this one as well. And that actually helps with the rigidity of this joint here. Now, one thing that I learned from watching DAS Bookbinding to maybe fix this or correct this mistake is you can actually sew these end papers in with the sewing of the book block. Um, so that is something that I'm probably gonna do on the next one is I'm just gonna sew these end papers with the actual chunk of books. Um, but other than that, and it happened in the back as well, and you can see here, you know, it, it's starting to come off. I could fix it, you know, I, I have the glue and everything, I could glue it back on it and maybe leaving it, you know, under some pressure and, and push forcing it down and letting it dry longer. Maybe I just got too excited, but I'm really happy with this. Um, this is a series, I have no idea what this is. It's DC the Monolith from April 04. Uh, I just picked this up. My One of the comic book shops in my area sells runs, um, and this was 12 issues for six bucks. Um, so, you know, 50 cents a book. You could go grab a bunch of 50 cent books from your 50 cent, you know, uh, bins at your shop or something. But I wanted to actually have a story that I could read. Um, and it it's really cool. I mean, with it being sewn, let me open up to like, you know, you get no gutter loss at all, you know, because it's like, it's basically just a bunch of these sewn together, you know, I mean, and it's really cool. I enjoyed it. It was, it was a lot of fun. I learned a ton, but I mean, it, it sits completely flat. You can open it up and sit it completely flat and it'll stay open. You know, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. I, I had a lot of fun doing this. It's definitely not my last one, for sure. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing these and I'll make some more videos uh, to show you guys how I progress and, and you know, hopefully get better with each one. But um, this was super fun. Uh, one other thing I'm looking into. So obviously this is just the cased book with you know cloth on the outside there's no title on the spine there are quite a few ways that you can do titles on here um you know a real bindery has um like stamps like stamp some sort of stamping machines where you know they can put foil and and emboss it and all kinds of stuff and you know you can make these out of leather and and do all kinds of, of things with it i've seen online um, that people use what's called heat transfer vinyl HTV um, which you can get um, you know like with those Cricut cutters if you've ever seen those that people make stickers with but they you can cut out designs and then it's like you just iron it on um, I don't know much about that that may be a route I go in the future but those Cricut machines are like $200 a piece so <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna be a route that I go I have a couple other ideas for some cool ways to put um, the titles or maybe even a title on the front. But, you know, I don't like, honestly, I don't like dust jackets. Um, they just get in the way, they're big, they're bulky. So if I could keep it something that is actually adhered to the spine or incorporated into the spine somehow, that would be my ideal situation. Um, you know, it's learning. I, I had I had never done anything like this. Just watched some videos, ordered some stuff off Amazon. I got like a, a DIY book binders kit for $20 or something like that. And then just bought some supplies. Um, if you're thinking about doing this yourself, I would encourage you to check out the channels that I'm going to link um, down below um, and just take a look at them. It's not that difficult to do. You don't really need a ton of machinery or anything like that. Um, they, there are like, you know, book presses that are professional grade and, and a lot of stuff, but you don't really need that. Um, you can get away with just some, some boards and, you know, I used a sheet of plywood and, and some other sheets of plywood with some clamps from my house, you know, um, obviously, just like anything else, the better materials and the machinery you have, the better you can, you know, do the work. But at the end of the day, you know, I, like I said, I wanted to learn how to do something new. I, it, it was a lot of fun. Um, again, like I said, I'm really happy with how the case came out. That was something that I was extremely worried about, but this material, it's called like Italian book cloth or European book cloth or something. It feels really nice. 
it's got kind of a grip to it, but it's kind of, um, I don't know, you can kind of see the sheen on it. It's, it's, it's smooth, but it's got a little bit of texture to it. And it came out way smoother than I thought, you know, cause you put a lot of glue on here. I was really worried that like, you know, they have a backing on this fabric, um, but I was really kind of worried that, you know, glue would seep out or seep through and it would get all kind of mushy and, and, but it didn't, it, it feels really, you know, I wouldn't say professional, but it feels better than a first time <laughs> person just, just trying it out. So, um, like I said, check out these other channels that, you know, that I, and that I'm going to link in the description and ask me in the comments. Um, I'm just learning if you guys know anything about this or, or have any suggestions, I'm all ears. Uh, this is something that, you know, like I said, I tried to find other people making videos and I did find a couple, I think there was South Georgia collectibles, I believe I'll link him in the description as well. He does this, um, you know, DIY comic book binding as well. And I watched some of his videos, but there wasn't a ton out there. There's not a ton of information specifically to binding comic books. So I figured, you know, I'll try it and see what I learn and try another one. Um, I do have the next set of books. I went back to that uh, LCS and picked up another set and it's going to be 16 issues. So, you know, this was 12. So we'll see how 16 goes. Um, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoy it. If you do give me a thumbs up or put a comment in there and, and I'll make another one and take you along for the ride. Thanks guys.